You're probably wondering how we got here. Two strangers sharing a room on a cruise ship to Alaska. Okay, so I know this is crazy and we don't know each other, but would you want to go on a cruise with me? Uh, who is this? So he said yes. It was very easy to convince him. You can either go on the cruise with me or you can say goodbye to your PC gaming setup forever. He's very thrilled to be here. I don't feel comfortable sharing the bed with him, so I'll be generous and let him sleep on the balcony. The stranger willingly complied with my terms and lucky for him, there was a chair out there. You're welcome. Somehow he snuck back inside to ignore me and watch his favorite show, Forged in Fire. I was feeling a little bit motion sick, so I took a nap, but I think we're all good and we're gonna go to the hot tub. The reason I brought him is so I don't have to use my brain and he can lead me everywhere because I'm a little bit confused about where everything is. Mr. Stranger Man was more than happy to show me around and definitely not trying to run away from me. It's so nice, I don't have to think at all. We went to the pool area, which was actually very nice. It was covered in windows so you could see outside. However, the hot tub was heckin' busy. There were so many people and I was not ready to get into that. So instead I got into the pool all alone because the stranger didn't want to get in with me and no one else wanted to, I guess, be in the pool with me, which is weird. Cause like, I know it's an all adults area, but guys, we can still play mermaids, okay? I don't know if I stunk or something, but I was vibing in the pool by myself. And then with my extremely average looks and charisma, I convinced the stranger to get in the hot tub outside with me. Yeah, we found one outside that had nobody in it so all is well and then I realized that there is all you can eat soft serve ice cream so we definitely had to go snag some of that mmm delicious like guys it was literally ice cream how else do I explain it it's pretty good I'm eating ice cream while looking at the menu for dinner this is life on a cruise ship we are there not there we're there yeah so in the middle of the ocean not quite the middle. <laughs> We're about to go to dinner. I dressed up a little bit and I didn't have time to shower, so I smell like pool water. I'm gonna mask it with this body perfume spray thing. <coughs> oh, wait, nope, that got in my lungs. Okay. Guys, he's out on the balcony right now and I don't know what he's doing. It's really weird. That's kind of scary. But he also dressed up too and he looks really nice. He's really handsome and it's making me nervous. Whoa! Were you taking photos of me? Sir, sir, no photos. No photos. Someone lost cookies in the elevator, which is really sad. But anyways, here's a montage of some of the food that we ate on this trip because there was a lot of it and it was all really good, especially the desserts. So I feel like it just needs its moment to shine. Here's some French toast. Here's some eggs and bakey. Yeah, yeah, all so good. Just woke up to a really pretty view. I just realized that I know absolutely nothing about you. So we're gonna do a stranger Q and A. What is your name? It is uh, Brian with a Y. Hello, Brian with a Y. Where are you from? Tulsa. Whoa, that's crazy, me too. What is your type in women? Someone with a good sense of humor. So do I make the roster? Okay, let's move on. What's your favorite color? Probably black. So what do we do now? Just sit here. Okay. After that intriguing interview, I went out to the balcony to enjoy my coffee. Taking in the view, soaking it all in. After that, the worst thing imaginable happened. Brian with a Y locked me out of the room and I was furious. This is my vlog, you're the stranger. Best part is free pizza anytime. All you can eat. Our first port stop was in Sitka, Alaska. It lived up to the high expectations and we saw bears. They were so cute. I wish that you could hug them, but you gotta keep your distance from wild animals. There's a bear. So they rescued orphaned bears and put them in this habitat. So we got to observe the bears doing bear things, which was really fun. I stayed hydrated and my parents showed up. That was so nice of them. This is the boat. How has the experience been so far? It's fun being trapped, I mean, on a cruise with her. We decided we should probably get some exercise, so we went up to the running track at the top of the boat, and the views are spectacular up there. I couldn't believe it at all. I am speed. It's a little bit chilly up here. He needs to go to sleep. <laughs> We're 
doing a little nature walk. It's beautiful weather and it's so peaceful out here. We got really lucky with this weather because it rains a lot in Alaska and I've seen so many cruise vlogs of it just raining the whole time, but it is perfect. A little bit chilly, but great. The next day we woke up to a really insane view and we stared at it and appreciated it as much as we possibly could in the short amount of time. This is proof that I ate something healthy. We stopped in Juneau, the port was beautiful, and then I tried to see if the stranger wanted to hold my hand. He almost did, but not quite. I don't know, maybe there's a love story about to happen here. Like seriously, would you just look at this? Anyways, we got on a yacht to go well watching. They provided some snacks for us, which was really nice. I also sipped on a crisp, refreshing Coca-Cola as we made the journey out there. And guys, this was by far my favorite thing that we did on the trip because we literally saw wells. We saw so many of them, it was actually incredible and I was amazed by God's beautiful creation because these creatures truly leave you speechless. They even synchronize their diving which is so cool and then we also saw sea lions. This one did a little happy spin which also made me really happy. We saw a few more whales and then it was time to head back which Brian with a Y was getting a little bit too comfortable. I'm back home now but as we were rushing off the boat in Seattle I realized something. This man is actually no stranger at all. He's my husband. A plot twist end to this story. I got this cool new shirt and Brian with a Y got this hoodie. The trip was a good one, but for real, you probably shouldn't go on a cruise with a complete stranger.